Light work, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. Chelsea for Malmö, and I believe that's how you pronounce it. Nil. That's right, a big home win in the Champions League. And we didn't expect anything else, really, did we? Did we? We wanted a few goals. Positives and two negatives in the form of two injured strikers. Yes, we'll get into that. Still... Points on the board, we beat Malmo again, we beat Zena, who knows, we beat Juventus again, we could finish top still, we just keep winning now, we just keep winning in the Champions League and everything will be okay. Before we get into it, Chelsea, if I heard this stat right on BT Sport coverage, Chelsea have conceded 22 goals in the nine months under Thomas Tuchel, and of those 22, five were of that crazy blackout West Brom game, which we shouldn't have conceded any. So you could say we should have only conceded 17 in 9 months. Regardless, an astronomically good defensive stat. Welcome back, people. We're going to reflect on a very positive win. Um, I'd urge you all to subscribe if you are a new person on the channel. Or if you're a returning visitor who's yet to subscribe. And drop a like. That helps me out. And I'm just assuming you, watching this viewer, you like football. And I imagine you like video games. Certainly FIFA. Every single day. I stream on my Twitch channel, Yan's Yard. It's loads of fun. We're building a community. If you don't know about Twitch, it's a free streaming platform. I'll put a link in the top of the description. Do feel free to come follow me on Twitch and hang out and play video games with me or mate. Anyway, enough plugging Twitch. Let's just take a look at this on who scored. Dip it. What? No, I didn't mean to do that. This isn't football, Yannick. This is what I wanted to do. At home, 4 0. And it started oh so well, ladies and gentlemen. First off, it, I thought it was a back four system. I had some weird drunk moment early doors, but it's not. It was a free four two one. This with uh, Mendy, of course, in net, who's in sensational, incredible form. The back three of uh, Thiago Silva, Andreas Christensen, more on him in just a moment, and Antonio Rudiger, who is brilliantly mental. Jorginho in midfield, um, who was partnering uh, Golo Kante, and then we had uh, Chilwell uh, and um, as Piliqueta and as wingbacks, and then we had Lukaku flanked by Mason Mount and Timo Werner. A lot of substitutions, of course. Uh, a free 5-2 from Melmu, and um, we dominated the stats. We had 19 shots to their two, over 73% possession, 90% success pass rate. We just were way too fast for them. We are winning all the aerial duels, uh, we were winning all the tackles, and we were just absolutely... We, t we turned over possession 16 times to their two. Absolute domination. We were too good, of course, on the night for Malmo. Incredible Chelsea FC. Why Chelsea play so good? Well, they keep the, the two as midfield players in front of the back three and the wing backs and they play so close, so close, but at the same time so wide. That's how Chelsea play so good, if you know. You know in the open of the opening goal was scored in the ninth minute by Andreas Christensen running onto a cross from Thiago Silva. Okay, so obviously the big story is he made his debut for Chelsea when he's 17. Uh, years and years and years. Eight years ago. Eight years ago. Granted, he's been away at Borussia Mönchengladbach for two years. But under Rafa Benitez, he made his debut. He's 17. He's 25 now. So eight years ago. And yes, he's a centre-half. But he's a Chelsea centre-half. They score goals. Never scored a goal for Chelsea. Never scored a goal for Chelsea. He scored one today, though, and now it wasn't a header that you'd expect on a set piece from a centre-half. It was from a two centre-backs combining Thiago Silva in, like, a winger position, crossing it in like a winger, and Andreas Christensen finishing it, running onto him, finishing it with his boot like a striker into that position, making a late run. It was like a winger and a striker, but no, it was two centre-halves combining. For Andreas Christensen's first ever goal for Chelsea, it's just stuff you love to see. They get, uh, Lars Nielsen gets a yellow card. Um, on the 21st minute, they, um, they concede a penalty. And Romelu Lukaku, he started pretty well. And this is the kind of game you'd want him to get. We'll, we will talk about player performances in a moment. But this is the kind of game you want him to, like, kick on, score some goals, and, uh, find some goal-scoring form. Um, and someone tackles him in the box and injures him. I don't know if it was his Achilles or something, but it's really frustrating because he was clearly in a lot of pain. He did manage to walk off, but they were like, we are not taking chances with this. Uh, and he was taken off, basically. And... 
Kai Havertz comes on as the centre forward position. Not a bad player to bring on, considering he's the one who scored the winner in this competition's final last campaign. But it's frustrating at this point, you know, for Romelu Lukaku. Especially Chelsea don't have loads of strikers. They have really a striker in Lukaku, maybe a sort of harsh striker in Werner, and then Kai Havertz who fills in there sometimes. Jorginho converts the penalty really, really well, and then um, Romelu Lukaku comes off, Kai Havertz comes on. Timo Werner then gets injured in the 44th minute, our other striker in this game. It looks like he pulls his hamstring, which is, you know, one thing Werner... I'm say, that's really unfair, I was about to say, the one thing Werner's good at. The main thing Werner's good at <laughs> is running. It's running into space, and he just seen. I don't think he'd ever... I thought his hamstrings were just golden. He's done his hamstring, and at this point you're thinking, Jesus Christ... But Callum Hudson Odoi comes on, so we've suddenly like Pulisic out, Hakim Ziyech is out, Romelu Lukaku's out, um, Timo Werner's out, and you're suddenly thinking. But we can, fortunately for us, seeing as we've got loads of quality, we can still feel the front three of Mason Mount, Hudson Odoi, and uh, Kai Havertz. So that's still a great front three that we can feel despite all these injuries. And we they two the two substitutes combined. Callum Hudson Odoi assists Kai Havertz um, for a lovely finish, lovely piece of work from Cho uh, coming in, playing a ball forwards to um, Kai Havertz, who does a lovely angled finish from the near post, finishing it to the far post. Beautiful. Ooh, Roman, do you know what that's worth? Kai Havertz is the best enough. Bit of full serve for you there, mate. Lovely finish from Kai Havertz. He is absolutely quality. The Silky German is just what we need, ladies and gents. Very, very pleased with that. 3-0 up. I mean, we've just been too good for Malmo. All over the pitch. Too fast. It's like we're in fast forward and they're on ketamine. That's what it's like. They, they, you know, a couple more bookings for them. They're sort of disciplines. Uh, falling a little bit. They concede another penalty of which Jorginho dispatches again. Uh, we make changes. Cesar's player Guetta, um, Ben Chilwell uh, come on for Reese James and Marcus Alonso, swapping the fullback, the wingbacks rather. Um, and interestingly, in the 65th minute, Saul Niguez comes on for N'Golo Kante. So if you were wondering, with the emergence of Ruben Loftus-Cheek and the utilisation of Barkley, even Trevor Chalaber in midfield, if you were wondering, God, when's Sal Niguez going to get a chance? It's when we're 4 nil up, up against Malmo at home. That's when that's, he's going to get his chance, Sal. And, you know, it is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. He passed the ball around a little bit well. It's just getting back at Stamford Bridge. And, uh, you know, I'm on the pitch. Everything's fine. We're winning. And I'm, you know, acclimatizing to it. Fair enough. Like, whatever. But that's that's when he's called upon. Player performances. Mendy was pretty good. Um, Christensen, great. Got his goal. Uh, Silva, great. Got the assist for that goal. Rudiger, superb. He really wanted a goal himself, but uh, he didn't get it. He was taking free kicks. He was taking shots. He was meant He's going mental. He won the second penalty, and he was making some crazy faces in the 18-yard box. He is a few screws loose, and we are lucky to have him, and I really want him to sign a new contract. Jorginho, despite two excellent penalties, I think had a really... Not despite... On top of two excellent penalties, he had an excellent game. I thought this was the kind of Jorginho performance we needed from him. Uh, a lot better. Uh, he's no, he hadn't been, he'd been maybe a bit tired. Um, Chilwell, I think, looked pretty good. Um, uh, SP looks great, you know, decent as well. Kante looked really, really good. Running, making loads of forward runs, uh, loads of vertical disguise sort of inward runs, as well as his excellent interceptive and uh, sort of semi-destroying play. He was making good offensive runs and combining. Uh, what a player he is. Mason Mount looked a lot, lot better. Uh, he's got a high rating here on who scored, 7.3. Kai Havertz, lovely finish. Sort of fancied himself for another one. hudson Adoy came on, played like a winger in his favourite position, getting himself an assist, and we are golden, ladies and gentlemen. Two wins now, uh, three games, frustrating performance against Juventus. Um, hopefully, we can, uh, you know, beat them in the in the reverse fixture of that. You'd imagine we'd beat them. We can still finish top of the group. We just need to, you know, hustle. Um, and yeah, I'm feeling pretty good, boys and girls. Let me know what you think. Let's start up a conversation down below about this game. I want to hear what the people think, and if you enjoyed the game. Uh, I, I really do want to urge people to go follow me on Twitch because it's a, I'm cultivating a new community. It's not a brand deal. It's not a moneymaker. It's literally just 
something I enjoy, but I want people to come hang. I love seeing the um, recurring names there in the uh, chat, and we're making friends, and it's just nice for me. It's something a bit different, and I enjoy it, and you guys are too. So, Yans Yard on Twitch. Link in the description, boys and girls. I'm feeling good. Chelsea are winning. Man United are only just squeaking wins. Whatever. We move. Enjoy the football. I'll see you later.